Hi, so I've had a few people ask me about the milestone cards in my book, Team Mastery. And they wanted to know a little bit more about them, some examples of them. Um, and uh, so I thought, well, maybe I'll make a few videos and I'll just talk through a card uh, in a video and give people a bit of an idea as to what that card is all about. So here is the first of maybe a few. Um, if people think it's terrible, then I won't do any more, but we'll see how they go. So I also do the cards as a separate deck. Um, so I'm going to take them out of that rather than tear them out of a book. And so let's just pick one at random. I'd ask you to say stop, but you're not there. So we'll just take this one here. Okay, so today we got rhythm. All right, it says we're now predictable in a good way because everybody has a decent idea of what we can do, including us. So why is rhythm important? Well, teams get into um, a rhythm with agile delivery, become predictable, so manage expectations, but also it's a good way of helping deal with the unknown uh, and a lot of uncertainty. So agile delivery methods and agile teams are more useful uh, in times of uncertainty and complexity and risk. And when there's complexity and uncertainty and risk, generally what else you find is anxiety goes up because people like certainty, they crave certainty. So what rhythm gives is a certain predictable cadence. So we know, although we don't know what work's going to happen and what changes are going to happen, we might not even know what the solution is to things. We do know that, you know, every day at the same time, at the same place, we're going to have a meeting with the same structure, with the same people. That gives a sense of certainty and calms us down and allows us to actually focus. If we're too stressed about anxiety, about not knowing stuff, then we can't really get stuff done. We're not in a, a doing state. We're in a sort of fight or flight state. So rhythm is really important from that sense, but also in terms of managing expectations. So if we're delivering something to our customers, uh, but we actually don't know when things will be done because we're not in a predictable, repeatable environment, we're going to have to estimate. And those estimates, they're estimates, okay? They're not commitments. They're not, they're not certainties. So what we can do is say, well, we don't know, but we can deliver something within a period of time. And if all the variables remain the same, so the number of people stays the same, the, the connections stay the same, the time box stays the same, the environment stays the same, the type of work stays the same, then there's a good chance we'll be able to do a similar amount of work in the next time box. So we have that predictability, that, re that repeatability. So aiming for a rhythm is, is a really good thing. And teams, when they get to that rhythm, they've got that sense of certainty. Everyone around them is a lot more comfortable because although things are changing, we know there is a lot more stability within that uncertainty. There are some risks associated with rhythm. Um, so the, the biggest one really is monotony. So if, we, if we're having a, a daily stand-up, for example, the same place, the same time, every day with the same people and the same questions, it can get a little bit repetitive. And as much as people like certainty, they don't like monotony. So it's important to, to make sure that we're keeping changing things up while also keeping that ritual, keeping that rhythm. Uh, in place, that cadence. So you'll find teams changing the questions, changing the location perhaps, uh, changing the structure, adding a little bit of detail, changing up the retrospective for example, just to keep things a little bit fresh while not losing the value of rhythm. So that's a really brief introduction to the milestone of We've Got Rhythm. And on the card there, there's a, a resources QR code with a number of different things that you can go to and, and learn about getting rhythm, the power of rhythm, how to, how to improve your sense of rhythm and, and maybe even speed that rhythm up once you've established it. I hope that was useful. Feedback welcome. And I'll choose another card next time.